Hello everyone, my name is Gbops and today I will talk about Craftsman and how I think Craftsman is dying, how to prevent that and what will happen with Craftsman in the future. So let's go into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Gbops and if you don't know me, I am basically a Craftsman veteran. I am a pro at this game. I've been playing it for two years. I've been making videos for it for two years minimum and I also made around 400 videos different topics different survival different skywars stuff like that so basically today i will explain to you guys why i think craftsman is dying uh what is happening with craftsman on youtube and what do i think needs to happen uh, for craftsman to survive uh why i think craftsman is dying that is a very simple question and the simple answer is lack of updates very old gameplay and people are not satisfied with that so let me explain Basically, Craftsman is uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.15 that came out like six years ago. Uh, no trading, no Ender Dragon, no End, no Wither, no anything. So basically, if you played Craftsman for over two years, you know that there is nothing cool to do in Craftsman. Basically, if you are playing survival, you can go, you can survive, you can find diamonds, get the best armor, make a house, and that is pretty much it. You can go to the Nether. That's maybe so cool if you are into that. I hate Nether. But that is pretty much it of the game. There is nothing else to do. And your survival kind of stops there. You are getting bored. You don't want to play anything. And you just leave the game and then install. Because there is nothing cool to do there. That is the first thing. Why I think Craftsman is dying. The second thing is. Bunch of new games. Basically in the last year. There was so many new games that came up to Google Play Store. And I know that because. I'm a YouTuber that makes Minecraft copies, so I saw all of them, and there is so many cool games with 1.17, 1.18 update and stuff like that, and Craftsman just has a very big competition, like very, very, very huge competition, and I know people that play Craftsman probably don't have good phones, don't have like the good Android version and stuff like that to play the new games, but still, bunch of people, there is like, like a lot, a lot, a lot good mobile phones that are very cheap and bunch of people pe like have them so they can play the new versions and they just like you know leaving craftsman and switching to other versions that they like to play and they can actually do something that is the second problem that craftsman has right now uh, now i'm gonna explain a bit what's happening in craftsman on youtube and will craftsman ever be that popular so basically me as a big youtuber i know I know a lot of people that actually made videos about it, so I know Hueldino, I know uh, Nitsy Pig, I know uh, Akuzen channel, uh, I mean I, I know some of them by just having their videos like Near Minecraft, Mr. Fred, Astronauta which is huge uh, and some other people, uh, but basically views are very bad, so if you go to like Astronauta channel, you will see that he did not upload for 6 months, if you go to Mr. Fred or like Near Minecraft, you will see he did not upload for almost a year. So basically, people that upload daily is me, Hueldino, Mr. Fred, maybe Jairo and stuff like that. And videos are going very, very bad because nothing cool is happening and people just don't want to watch it. So I remember before there was so many, new, so many other channels that did this, but they all died out because they just did not record and stuff like that. So Craftsman on YouTube is basically dead until we get an update or something, some, somebody figures something cool, something cool happens, something else. Until then, Craftsman on YouTube is basically dead. Uh, there is no viral videos like before. Uh, there is no like 1 million view videos anymore. Uh, and barely Craftsman videos hit like 10,000 views maximum, which is a lot of views. But before I've been hitting like 100k views easily on Craftsman videos, now it is much, much harder. What should Craftsman do to stay relevant and not die out? So basically Craftsman is like a game uh, that is for all devices. Basically it's made to be for like old mobile phones that can't run Minecraft. And that is great because there is bunch of people, like bunch of kids that don't have like good phones and that works for them. Uh, but I think if... Craftsman wanna survive, it should at least update to when you can trade. So basically, I don't know, one like 0 0.17, something like that. At least to like that bigger version where you can actually trade 
and stuff like that. Maybe kill the Wither, maybe kill the Dragon. But honestly, if if they just update the stuff every like month, every two months to like one version up, which gives like two blocks and stuff, it would still be better than not doing anything. Because when people see the update, they will check it out. They will play it a bit. Algorithm will pick that up. I will, like YouTubers will get more views when YouTubers get more views. Uh, more people see the game when more people see the game more people download and it's a big circle so people are always like going to play the game so it doesn't need to be a big update it can be just like a slow update like two blocks three blocks in the game one mob stuff 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 like that and that is enough every two months and that is enough for people to stay connected to the game and stay playing it uh, and what did I want to talk about so yeah basically I explained to you guys why I think the game is dying What's happening with Craftsman on YouTube and how to Craftsman uh, like figure out the way how to Craftsman stop dying. But if Craftsman doesn't do that, I think Craftsman is going to die 100%. There is no way Craftsman survives like this in this world because people how the time goes, they will buy better and better phones. They will get even better and better games. So Craftsman will die out and if that happens, that is gonna be a big, big, big end to like a big era because Craftsman is super huge. You can go check it out. Craftsman has like 200 million dollars. That is 200 million people that download that game. That is insane. Like that is more than Minecraft Pocket Edition. Huge numbers, huge, huge, huge. So if Craftsman dies, it will it will be very sad, but we are still not there. There is still around 300,000 people playing Craftsman every day. Which is a lot, but it's not how it used to be. Used to, like before, they probably had like 5 million people playing it, which is mind-blowing. Uh, but yeah, that is basically what's gonna happen if they don't do anything. If they leave it, uh, the, it will just die. So, that is pretty much it. I just wanna say, if Craftsman Ovner is watching some of these videos and stuff like that, I would like to talk to you. I might even make a video where I send him the mail and try to talk with him in the future. Just so we can see, is he actually trying to do something? Is he developing a new update? Will he actually do anything with the game? Or will he just leave it to die? Uh, which would be very bad. Because uh, the game has a lot of potential. There is a lot of users. So I feel he can make a pretty, pretty good game overall. But yeah, I'm just going to talk with him. I'm going to talk with also some other YouTubers that make Craftsman copies. Uh, that are basically a little bit better. So I can see, can I try them out on my YouTube channel and stuff like that. And that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like for my videos. I know you hate my voice because watch time is bad. But I'm going to try to do it. But I'm going to try uh, to use my voice as much as possible. Uh, especially for videos like this that cannot be made without my sound. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe. And peace out. Bye bye.